Oh man, did my flame shield get lost in the move? Damn it. When deciding on what would be next in the January list marathon, I thought it would be better to end on a good note and save the best episodes list for last. So today, I'll be covering my picks for the top 10 worst episodes of Friendship is Magic. Yup. Let's rip that bandaid off. Between the two top 10 videos, this one was actually the easier one to make. I only had to narrow it down from 12 episodes that I disliked enough to consider for this list. And the two episodes that didn't make the cut will be receiving dishonorable mentions. I'll also be skimming over entries that were discussed in my top and bottom 5 season 5 episodes, so just keep that in mind. Number 10. Stairmaster. I sometimes forget that I really used to dislike the CMC. But fortunately, or unfortunately, I have episodes like this to remind me of those dark times. The times when Pinkie Pie wasn't my least favorite character. In season 1 and some of season 2, the CMC came off to me as amalgamations of all the bad qualities of kid characters, and each episode dug their grave deeper and deeper before they finally started to warm up to me in season 4. Stairmaster was the episode that poured salt in the wound and was a clear example of why I don't babysit. Number 9. Three's a Crowd Pacing? What's that? This episode is like a car that takes a minute to get started. Or to be more accurate, 7 plus minutes. Almost half of the episode is spent on exposition, and because of that, the rest of the episode has to compensate for all that lost time. If you've already reached the second act of the story and you're still giving exposition, then something is wrong. Number 8. The Cutie Pox Another reminder of why I didn't like the CMC pre-season 4. They were already one-note characters before this episode, with their defining motivation for all of their appearances being, we want our cutie marks, and this episode only exacerbated that problem. Didn't we already have an episode where Apple Bloom impatiently whined for her cutie mark? Did we really need another? But hey, we do see more of Zakora here, so I guess that counts for something. She should lock up her stuff better though. Kids these days don't know how to keep their hooves to themselves. Number 7. Showstoppers Fresh off the heels of the last entry, we have another CMC episode where they are desperate for their cutie marks. Again. While Call of the Cutie brought the CMC together, this episode started the chain of bad CMC episodes where all they did was come up with half-baked ways to get their cutie marks. While I am beyond thankful that this wasn't a permanent trend, that doesn't stop this episode from being a dark stain on the CMC's improving track record. Plus it's home to one of the worst songs in the show. Yeah, it's supposed to sound bad, but so was Spike's rendition of the Cloudsdale anthem. That doesn't make either song less painful to listen to. Number 6. What about Discord? Good ideas are introduced here, but the milking of a joke that's never told gets in the way of that. Number 5. Castlemania. If I had to describe this episode in two words, I'd use... Visual NyQuil. Because this was the first and only MLP episode that's ever made me sleepy. The main six wandering around the castle and scaring each other? Yeah, that's funny for like... 5 minutes. It almost made me wish that the Pony of Shadows was actually a thing so something interesting could happen. And because I know people are gonna bring it up, yes I'm aware of the ending gag. But that's all it was. A gag. Number 4. The one where Pinkie Pie knows. More joke milking and for a joke that's not even funny. Next. Number 3. Slice of Life. Not having to take something seriously is not an excuse for not being entertaining. Next. Number 2. Too many Pinkie Pies. If you're surprised this episode made it on the list, then you must be new here. In which case, welcome. The title of this episode conveniently explains my main problem with it. It pretty much takes the most annoying qualities of Pinkie, multiplies them, and makes an episode out of it. And with only one good joke, the episode is one of the very few that I skip when rewatching a season. Before we get to number one, Let's acknowledge the two episodes that weren't able to make the list. Call of the Cutie and Mystery on the Friendship Express both get dishonorable mentions. And my pick for worst episode of FIM is... A Friend Indeed. Too Many Pinkie Pies used to be my least favorite episode of the series, but in recent months I've been giving it some thought and I realized that A Friend Indeed is worse. It's one thing to want to be friends with everybody, but then there's a certain point where you cross the line between friendly and intrusive. 
and that line was left in the dust in this episode. Not only does Pinky constantly invade Cranky's personal space after he tells her that he doesn't want to be bothered, she breaks into his house and destroys his things all in an attempt to be his friend. Oh, but she reunites him with his old girlfriend, so that justifies everything she did, right? Sorry, but no. This could have been a great episode about how you can't force friendship, but instead it was just an episode that left me feeling sorry for Cranky. The Smile song isn't much to speak of either, but even if it was, it's nowhere near enough to make up for the rest of the episode, or save it from being my pick for the worst episode of FIM. So I'm sure that list ruffled a few feathers and might inspire some <laughs> colorful comments. But such is the consequence of a list like this. Thankfully, we'll be moving on to a more positive topic next time when I cover my top 10 best episodes of FIM. So what are your top 10 worst episodes? Swarm that comment section below or bug me on social media and consider supporting me through Patreon or PayPal art commissions. Until next time, keep it sketchy folks.